In today's video, it's all about the recently opened Nikolai Bergman Hakone Gardens. I have picked up a lot of amazing material and today I will show you a, a sort of an interesting way to create a flower arrangement. Let me show you how. So I have uh, gathered a few uh, different materials in Hakone. Um, this is actually from uh, trees that had uh, fallen, uh, fallen over by different kind of strong winds and weather. Um, this is the bark from, from a huge tree. Um, I've taken this uh, glass container uh, down from the flower shop here in our Minami Aoyama flagship store. And um, first I sort of had this idea that I wanted to try to put this uh, bark uh, around the vase and um, then I have uh, picked a lot of uh, amazing uh, acebi. We have so much of that. Um, some are this little bit reddish color, some are green, some are more dark red. It's so amazing um, and they grow like crazy everywhere. So um, we have a lot of this. I also took a few. The flowers are just finished as you can see here but it's skimia. Uh, I really have, love Schemia. We have so much wild uh, Schemia uh, at the Nicolai Bergman Hakone Gardens as well. And then in the end, um, I cut uh, yesterday also these amazing uh, peonies, uh, which is beautiful. We also have uh, right now red uh, peonies blooming, but these pink ones, uh, I think, uh, was really beautiful. So out of these very simple materials, uh, I'm going to show you how to it creates a sort of very natural uh, arrangement out of these um, few things that we have gathered. Let me show you. Uh, so I have cut the uh, different pieces of uh, bark to sort of fit the, uh, fit the vase. And then um, next up, uh, I'm taking these uh, rubber bands and put them together to become slightly longer, like this. Just make some long ones so they will fit around the vase. So what I usually do is I cut randomly some piece of like a branch like this and then I put the, uh, the rubber band around. So I do like this and then I just add this little branch here um, and then I do exactly the same on the top. So I do one up and one down to really um, be able to hold tight onto uh, to the bark. So uh, now we are ready to uh, put in the first uh, pieces of, um, of bark. So basically what I do is sort of hold it into the glass here, put it down and then go to the next piece of rubber band here and then push it down. It's quite fun, it's easy, and you get a totally different look than just uh, this simple uh, glass vase. So now um, I have uh, done a full circle uh, with the bark, and to hold it tight, I have taken this uh, gold, uh, gold wire. Um, I like this wire on the, on the wooden sticks here because it's fairly uh, thick. I even think I'm might gonna go double. A piece like this, a double. Then I take it around first. So I think I think I'll be okay just to have two, one up and one down. Sometimes you can also now I'm sort of I'm in in the middle of the table. Sometimes it can be easier to actually drag it to the edge of the table like this. Because then you can really pull and then twist your arms around like this. If you are over the table, you're not able to do so. So if you go to the edge, you can really have a great movement that will make the, the wire nice and tight. So now we've got the two. We can then uh, cut off the two, um, the two uh, elastics, rubber bands that we put on to begin with. And then you have uh, your base uh, ready to go to arrange the flowers. Uh, we're ready to put in the uh, different greenery. So first and foremost, I'll put in uh, water uh, in the glass vase. Um, 
I always tend for every branches I use, um, make sure that that no uh, leaves are coming inside the, the, the water. It's some, something I always take good care of. I usually cut and then uh, sort of break in the middle uh, with the scissor. In that sense, basically any type of branches has um, more ease to, to get the water up if you, um, if you do it that way. So now I have a quite a nice um, and dense base. I'm actually going to do a little bit overkill. I have a lot of this greenery. I'm going to use a lot. And the reason for that is I want to have it nice, uh, the base nice and tight to be able to hold uh, my peonies. I was hoping to use this skimmia. They're a little bit too short for, uh, for this. We could maybe use them. Maybe that's nice. Well, that looks good there in the middle, in between here and the shorter. And then let's get going with the peonies. Look how big and beautiful uh, they are. I just think it's, um, they're so beautiful. Also perhaps big lilies could work very well in a container like this. Also, if you have garden roses with a very large head could also uh, work nice, but I think today we did a perfect match with these uh, amazing uh, peonies. But in this particular balance that I've chosen, quite impactful with the bigger flowers, I think was really great for uh, today's video. I hope you got a nice idea uh, from, from today's uh, arrangement and um, hope you will get in to do some kind of flower arrangement uh, at home as well. And if you have a chance to go to the Nicola Bergman Hakone Gardens, we look very much forward to see you. Take care, thank you.